Hello everyone, Mr. Merkage here, and today is part three. And what I'm going to be doing today is showing you how to make your player sprint. Um, default when you Im like import the first person controller package, it don't actually have sprinting, so you need to just uh, add it in yourself. Now it's not it's not a very hard process of doing, and it's just. Um, pretty simple we're gonna you click on assets here and go to standard as, standard assets and if you click on character controllers sources scripts and then your character motor now if we open that up because this is this is basically the script that tells the character what to do and we're going to be using the max forward speed variable here now if you come into unity really quick click on first first controller now if you look on the um, controller here uh, where is it? Movement max forward speed as you can see it's 6 now that's pretty slow I'm just if we play it well, if we play the game at the minute you just see like that, that's not I don't like it that's, I think that's quite slow so I'm just gonna increase that speed by default to Let's say eight. Let me just oh gotta make sure that was ticked. I think I can tick that. Now well that's better, we got a bit more got a bit more speed now. So that, that's quite good. I like that. Um so yeah now that's eight. If we go into the script, uh and you wanna come down to the update function, which is just down here somewhere. Here it is, the update function. Now, if we just give ourselves some room to type here, and yeah, we need to do if if input dot get key and then left shift. That's what we want to do. You want two curly brackets, and then it is what we're going to do is make it so move movement dot max forward speed is equals to now we set it to eight so when we're sprinting we want to increase it by a bit uh we can do a bit of trial and error here so I'll just go with twelve point oh and then obviously else if we're not sprinting and I'll just bring that down we want it to be move. If, if we're not sprinting, we want it to go back to what it was before we increased it. So equal it back to set it back to eight. Let's see if this worked. So we're walking along. Press left shift, and we go a lot faster. Let go, slow. So let go, slow down. Press it again. And you pro it probably don't look like I'm sprinting on your screen, uh, but it does. You, it, I'll just increase it to prove that it is. Just put it to 20. God, God, to think what this is going to be like. Because see, we are going fast. Now I'm holding shift. So if I go back, walk in, press shift, we are like flying back. So yeah, you definitely don't want it to be that fast. I'm going to set that back to 12. 12 was alright for m for me anyway. You can obviously play with these settings, but if you are changing it, make sure you change the default one in the editor first because if this is 6 and after you stop sprinting you set that to 8, you're going to be going faster than you was in the first place without sprinting. So you sort of need to make this you, ne you need to make sure that this number is the same as this number in the editor otherwise people would be like, well what's going on? Like just that. So this is just basic update check. The left shift's pressed, you're just increasing your max forward speed to twelve and then if it's not pressed, obviously back to normal. This is just a basic movement. If you're gonna implement a big like if you're gonna if you want stamina in your game and you know like you need it to be in a better script where it actually affects stamina variable and all stuff like that. But this is just for now sprinting. 
because you can't really have a game without sprinting, let's be honest. So, I thought I'd show you that. Uh, if you did like the video, please like and comment, and I'll see you next time.